Okay, we have had Mark Wiseman. We've had the privilege of having Mark Wiseman on the desk with me for the last hour, the former CEO of CPPI, CPPIB and former chair of AIMCO. Um, and we got to talk pension funds and the role that uh, they should play in a lot of the issues that we've brought up, chief among them, Canada's competitiveness. And you know that there's a discussion. There's Stephen Polas is chairing a commission to look into the role that pension funds can play in fixing some of these issues. What do you think should happen? Uh, I think pension plans' job isn't to fix the Canadian economy. I think the job... Tell that to the case. I, Doesn't the case today poll kind of operate well, I think separately? Well, I think the case today poll is, is different. It, it has a dual mandate. It's been set up that way from the start uh, by the government of Quebec. Um, it's the only one of our pension plans in Canada that has uh, a dual mandate. And uh, there's a cost to that. And we've seen that in the case today poll's returns relative to uh, to its peers. I think the answer is, is really simple, um, which is that pension plan's job is to invest the monies. And by the way, that's not the government's money. It's your money. It's other Canadians' money. It's teachers' money. It's municipal workers' money. It's firefighters' money. Um, that, those monies um, should be invested so that you can have, and other Canadians can have, a secure financial retirement. That's what it's for. It's not there for public policy. There's, some, there's money for public policy, it's called tax dollars. And if the government wants to spend tax dollars to stimulate the economy, let it do that very clearly uh, with accountability and not through the back door of taking your savings and using it for purposes other than your retirement. So you want a hands-off approach. You don't even want pension funds to be part of this conversation. We've had a hands-off approach in this country for the past 40 years. And that's why we have one of the most successful pension uh, in industries and investment industries in the world. The rest of the world looks to Canada, our Maple 8 and beyond, as the paragon of investing. It's shown up in terms of the returns. Mm -hmm. It's shown up in terms of the stability of our pension system. And the last thing that we need in this country is the government reaching its hands into that cookie jar and taking your money and other Canadian money, Canadians money, and spending it on what the government should be doing with uh, purely accountable and transparent funds from taxpayers. Well, it's precisely because you've gotten so big, um, not you, but these pension funds have gotten me, me, so, me, too, <laughs> me too sometimes. Uh, these pension funds have gotten so big that I think we're asking now, you're, these funds are so influential. Can we not use that influence to, our, to, to Canada's net benefit? Yeah, you know how we should be using, we're using that influence to Canada's benefit every day as those pension funds go around the world and invest their, your money, uh, the capital that's entrusted to them, in a sophisticated way, highly diversified, we talked about diversification in the last segment, to ensure that you have safety and security uh, in your retirement. And by the way, some of that capital should be invested in Canada, where on a risk-weighted basis, that return makes sense. The job of government is not to reach into the cookie jar. The job of government is to create the conditions to attract that capital and other FDI uh, into, uh, into Canada to grow our economy. Just taking money from the pension plans, that's not a strategy.